Cracking a cold one in cottage country is a time-honored tradition. Some of us prefer the suds. This guy prefers the containers. Ah, love beer cans. Meet Leo Roos, beer can collector extraordinaire. I collect beer caps and beer cans, and I have for almost 30 years now. I think I have about 1,800 on display. Leo's been collecting beer cans since he was a kid. And at that time, a lot of my spending money came from collecting empties up and down the road. I would set aside the cans instead of going in and getting my uh, five cents a can for them. And the collection started to grow and grow. I hit about 3,000 seven or eight years ago, and I had to purge it, get more cans than I have space. I met my wife at about 19 years old. I said, I've been collecting since I was about 12 or 13. So yeah, the, the collection came with the husband. <laughs> I don't mind it, it's a great conversation piece, and it kind of looks kind of neat. Package deal. But I have given him limits. So I asked my wife if I could build more shelves. <clears throat> Uh, it would be an emphatic no. There is a line on the uh, floor that I'm not allowed to cross. His beer can collection has gotten bigger. So, I mean, that was negotiated years ago. And he's not allowed past a certain spot in the rec room because then it's, it's not his man cave anymore. <laughs> How about we get a look at that man cave? You're in Leo's man cave space. This is my area, wife uh, allocated space, and this is my collection. I've got some mostly Canadian cans from west to east coast. I've got some of the new current microbrewery items. These are uh, Ontario brands, and this is British Columbia brands. And this is a, a good sampling of the, all the different little breweries across Ontario as well as over here, national brands, and we have a little bit of uh, East Coast cans here, uh, the East Coast of Canada. This is a sample of some early Canadian cans. The very first cans that go to beer were in a cone top style can, and that's what they look like. And then not long after the cone top was introduced, they also introduced a flat top can and that's pre-pull tab being invented, and you needed a can opener to get the beer out. Isn't that a beautiful can? Beautiful color, beautiful. It's an ever-expanding collection, one that includes more than just tin. Aside from collecting beer cans, I do pick up a lot of trinkets when I'm out yard sailing in flea markets, and this is kind of the neat stuff that I do find in, in yard sales. A lot of openers. Breweries did a lot of uh, different things to advertise. Leo likes his trinkets, but his favorite way to build his collection is by ditch digging for beer cans. I really enjoyed digging up dumps for old cans. Like an Easter egg hunt for me. I can spot a can at 100 yards. So yes, I have a trained eye for beer cans. I spot a few uh, cans on the surface already, just judging by the round a teardrop-shaped uh, aluminum lid, and they glow right back at you. So we're gonna turn this dump upside down and see if we can find some beer cans. Early Labatt can. Leo claims he's a discerning ditch digger. Of course, I'm looking for the rare labels. That's a Labatt Blue. That's an old Vienna. Are you sure? It looks like he'll take just about anything home. That looks like an old tire jack for a very old automobile. I think that's a keeper. 
That one is quite salvageable. That rust will come off nicely. Every once in a while you get lucky and you get a can fall inside of a can and it's a keeper. Well, ah, that doesn't look very nice. We'll keep them. We've done well here. What, about a dozen, half a, a dozen and a half cans. Take these back, clean up what I can. And I do take photos of everything that I dig up. Uh, just because, I, I don't know. Leo is gentle with his rusty finds, giving them a TLC bath in citric acid. So I'll take that and I'll put a fairly strong solution in there. And that citric acid will dissolve the rust right off of the cans. And then what I'll do is I'll take cans like that. That should clean up quite nicely. Here's a black label I threw in here. This one cleaned up quite nicely. Not bad for 40 years in the ground. I've heard a lot of people tell me that this is a strange obsession. It is strange, and I, I, I don't understand it, but I stopped stressing about it. It's just a little novelty, curiosity of mine. When I first started dating my wife, I went to go meet her folks, and while I'm at their place, uh, her father's from Montreal, and in the uh, basement, there's two Black Horse Ale cone tops, and it's a cone top that I didn't have, and 20 years later, I still don't have that cone top. I know he still has them, and if he's watching this, Chris, <laughs> you can be a really good guy and give me one. <laughs> <laughs>